Hey you guys, what's up? It's me, Catherine, and in today's video, I'm going to share my top tips on how to impress casting directors. I know a lot of you guys know, but if you're new to my channel, I'm a working actress, I've cast pilots, I work for an equity theater company, I've cast short films, and I've been behind the table on even bigger and more exciting projects. So I'm gonna share the top things that I've learned, the things that I've kind of picked up on in the room through my experience, all the good things. If you're new to my my channel. Hello and welcome, my name's Katherine Steele and I put out a new theater related video on every theater Thursday, plus I do bonus uploads throughout the week, so if you haven't already and you'd like to, go ahead and hit subscribe. That way you get notified for all future videos and you get to join the Theater Thursday fam. First, we take over Broadway, and then the world. You can also follow me at Kath underscore Steele on Snapchat, Twitter, and Instagram. So. Let's get into the video. So this first tip is probably the biggest tip. It might seem like a no-brainer, but I am so shocked to see people time and time again break this rule. Show up to your callbacks and auditions off book. Sometimes you have a lot of auditions in a row and you don't always have time to get off book. You might have stuff going on in your real life outside of your work life. I get that. But just so you know, it shows a lack of professionalism. It shows that you don't take this very seriously. And it really inhibits your performance. If you don't know the lines like the back of your hand, then you're wasting precious brain energy trying to remember things rather than acting. If you're not really good at memorizing or if you want some tips on how I memorize things, I just did a full video on that. I'll link that down below in the down bar. Tip number two! Do your research. Know the directors, know the writers, know the original Broadway production if you're auditioning for a play or a musical. If you're auditioning for a TV show or a movie, know the network, know the feel, know the tone, know the expectations. You're doing yourself a major disservice if you aren't going in as well prepared as you can be. Question of the day, what part of the entertainment industry do you want to learn more about? Leave it in the comments down below. I always check out all the comments. I always go there for video suggestions and ideas. So if you have something that you wanna learn more about as an actor or as an entertainer, in this awesome industry, leave it down below. I might just do a video on it. Tip number three, show up early. Oh my gosh. Like again, that sounds like such a basic tip, but it is shocking how many times people are late. It's so unprofessional, honestly, like, outside of a car accident or something equally awful, there's really no excuse for you to be late. Actors who come in late to auditions immediately start off with a bad impression. Because if you show up late to the audition, you might show up late to rehearsal or you might show up late to shooting or a show. And you know, it might have just been a one-time thing. There might have been traffic or car problems or you know, whatever, stuff outside of your control. But casting directors really don't care. Do what you gotta do to show up early. If that means leaving your house ridiculously early to ensure that you have enough time to accommodate for traffic and car problems and getting gas and whatever, do it. Tip number four, hold your sides. This is more of a preference thing. I would definitely say that there are some exceptions to this tip, but like 95% of the time, hold your sides. For those of you who don't know, a side is like an audition side. It's your script that you're auditioning with, basically. I know a lot of actors who are off book and they want to show that they're off book and they know what they're doing so they won't hold their side during an audition. But you might drop a line, you might forget a line, and even if you're not going to look at the paper or reference the paper, it's still a good thing to keep it in your hand just in case you need it. I will say, however, if you're auditioning for something really, really physical, then maybe don't have the script in your hand, and I think that's one of the few exceptions that it's okay okay to ditch the sides. Tip number five, be super clean. And I don't mean bathing, but also bathing. I definitely mean bathing, oh my gosh. By cleanliness, I mean keep your lines and intentions super clean. Don't let all of your lines and character choices meld into one dirty, messy thing. You want it to be defined, you want structure. Unless you're auditioning for like a mess of a human, then you know, go for it, be messy. But the majority of the time, keep your lines, intentions, beats, shifts, character choices, stuff like that, super clean. On that same train, tip number six, make good choices. Bold choices, make smart choices. You have to make choices about your character, choices about the scene, choices about how you say things and what they mean. 
Did that just kind of rhyme? It just rhymed. Make clear, big, and smart choices. Don't make a big weird choice just for the sake of being remembered. Tip number seven, confidence. Confident, whoa. Confidence shows big time, like big time. Be confident, be strong. I know that auditioning is scary. Everyone still gets nervous about auditions. I also did a full video on how to be super confident, how to deal with audition nerves, stuff like that. So I'll leave that in the down bar below if you haven't checked it out or if you want to see what my tips are. Tip number eight, dress appropriately. Again, another thing that I thought was like kind of self-explanatory or very basic, I don't know. Basic. But it's shocking to see how many people show up to an audition dressed inappropriately. Wear something that would be appropriate for the character. Don't wear a costume, but wear something in the same vein as your character. This goes for hair and makeup too. And remember, it's always better to be overdressed than underdressed. Tip number nine, get physical. Physical. There is a great power in stillness, but depending on the show, the situation, the character, the company that you're auditioning for. It's okay to bend the rules. Interact with the pianist, interact with the reader. Again, this is a judgment call on your part and it depends on each different casting director. But every time that I've been behind the table and there's been an appropriate situation for people to interact with the team directly, it's gone really well for them. It shows personality, it shows a sense of humor, which is definitely, definitely important depending on the project. It shows creativity, fearlessness. Like I said, that's not appropriate for every audition, but when it is, it can be super effective. So there you guys go. Those are my top tips on how to impress a casting director. Remember to leave your top questions about being an actor or the entertainment industry in the comments down below. If you found this video at all helpful, please give it a big thumbs up. It really helps me out. If you haven't already and you'd like to, go ahead and hit subscribe. I hope you guys are having a great day. I hope this video helped you out. I love you guys so, so much much break a leg and I will see you guys next time. Bye!